Who is she? Or he? It's been quite a while, Lieutenant Zex. I love the show. Ah! <laughs> what the hell is that about? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we do episode four of Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. Anyway, I'm gonna keep this intro kind of short and sweet. We're just gonna jump right into the next episode. All we know is that some of the Gundam Wing pilots are joining together and kind of meeting each other for the first time. Hero met this guy named Duo, D-U-O, and like they kind of hitting it off. Duo kind of hid Hero's Gundam in like undersea, and uh, I guess he was able to like retrieve it. I'm not exactly sure if they're gonna work together, but I. Hopefully Hero's thankful for that. We also saw Chang Wufei kind of fight on his own battles Like he was able to like take out a lot of military. He did get help Like I don't know where he was, but he was in his own section of town just like killing shit And then we saw Troy and Quatre, I believe they didn't pronounce their names So I don't know how to say it yet, but they met up and they were gonna fight each other But I guess they realized that they were kind of equal strength. So instead of fighting they kind of said hey, let's just talk Um. Anyway, let's jump to the next episode. I really want to see what happens next Yeah, let's just jump <laughs> This is a really bad story. But anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and let's just jump in. Boop, boop. All right, here we go. So they didn't say their names yet. You and I shouldn't be fighting each other. That's Quadre, and this is Trolla. I'm, I'm killing the names. I Googled it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Now, I wonder what Zek's gonna do. Oh, did he take the Gundam? The mysterious Gundam that was kind of, he did. We have word about the Corsica base. The enemies had left before the support troops arrived. He would take it though. 55% of the factory is destroyed. Thanks for filling me in on yet another two enemy machines. Who is she? Or he? It's been quite a while, Lieutenant Zex. I love the show. As usual, Nori. I hear you've been pretty busy these days. I don't like where the rumors are headed. Do you think he's some ultimate fighter? I think rumors are great. Have you heard any rumors about me? I hear that you've done well training pilots. But knowing you used to hate war, so what's with all the effort you're making? <laughs> I'm honored that you seem to remember so much about me, Lieutenant. My efforts are for my love of outer space. Really? Ah. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, to live in a time like this would be kinda cool. That's kinda tight. He's all alone. This is Mufe, I believe. Where the hell did he get the bike from? He hasn't met up with anyone yet, I don't think. So, we've lost him, have we? Yes. It's the only mobile suit that we've been able to confirm the location of, and it seems to have vanished. Nice. He's headed for the Taurus suits at Noin's base, and I'm on my way over there. Noin's about the only one who will welcome an annoying lieutenant. Didn't you graduate from the Lake Victoria Military Academy together? I'm surprised you knew. I also position. know that you, Lieutenant Sex, were the top student. She was always trying to be second in order for me to look better. Whoa, look dude, that's dedication and love. I don't know if she loves him or not, but that's admirable. She wanted to be second for him? Yeah, I think she has a crush. Sex Marquise, or rather, Peacecraft. Come here and let me help you out. Wow. I need a girl like that in my corner. Today okay. is your last day of training. They get their own machines. An elite force. What is that? Name of this machine. Your first mission as a member of Oz is to get your suits off base. Shouldn't we be leaving that to the transport division? Ugh. I didn't train anyone who couldn't take care of his own machine. Prepare to leave immediately. Wow, this is interesting. Sex is here. My baby! When will we slip the Tauruses out? Oh, 0700 hours tomorrow. That's hmm. the best strategy. Good thinking, Noi. I appreciate your compliment, Lieutenant Zex. Just call me Zex, Noi. Just call By me Zex. By the way, this room sure is cheery. Yeah, what the hell is up with that? Most of my soldiers are young and restless. I thought this style would suit them. Don't go getting too attached or parting will hurt. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being so concerned. But my soldiers aren't ever going to be killed in battle. In my mind, the value of life versus war is something one can't even compare. So she still my has soldiers that. have died. I disagree with your philosophy. Battles that risk men's lives are miscalculations. I pity the soldiers who get killed off. She's kind of right. Some of them kind of went and died because they were being too cocky. Nine here. Oh, Lieutenant Zex, you've got a call from Lieutenant Otto. This mobile suit is far more superior than initially predicted. It should be ready another month or two. Thanks for letting me know. Wow. Oh. Sounds good. Posted. How much time do they have? What is she doing? Playing footsie with a sword? She just happy to be near him. Dude, she she just happy to be near this guy. They had it. No, no, they didn't really. Oh, two peas in the pie, just like that. She just blew up a school. 
Oh my god, I was joking. And he, he blew up a training facility or something. What's happening? We're under attack. I mean, that's, that's how you stop future. Terrible. She probably can smell the blood. Uh, Don't die on me. Oh, he died. Find the enemy and attack them at once. Destroy them all. We're expecting a mobile suit battle. Oh, what are they shooting? His flare so they can see, right? That's smart. There's no sign of the enemy anywhere. Damn, she's getting out there. She is serious Where's about the this. Enemy hiding? They're gonna there find he us here. Is he in the Gundam yet? Or is he just walking around chilling? Oh my god, you're insane. Stop! Stop or I'll shoot! There's no way you can get out of here. The Gundam. Yeah, leading you right to it. You better shoot right now. Bring the space laser. But we can't fully deploy the heat when it's used on Earth. Doesn't matter. We just need one shot at him. It's not good to do that in... In public. Is nine in pursuit of the enemy? But well, hopefully it doesn't happen. I want to see Mel go out like that. Oh, she's ready too. You're such a coward attacking the soldiers instead of the mobile suits. You call yourself a man? She's a woman, bruh. He's only a babe. A kid did all that damage to the base by himself. Huh? A woman? Now it makes sense. <laughs> How did he know? How did he know it was a woman? How did he know? The woman? The base on his own, but he only looks about 14. I think it's because she didn't shoot him. Is it Gundam time? Damn, she's gonna die, isn't she? Get the hell out of there, man. Just fly away. You cannot take a Gundam on by yourself. Target in sight. This should not be shot on Earth. Oh, nice! They She's a woman. What? Don't kill her. Oh no! Cost him her life. What the hell is this misogynistic? The enemy isn't headed this way to panic. We'll handle things at the base. I don't care if you're following the instructor Noin's orders. The enemy's not coming. Don't move the Taurus suits. Look, never mind. Aircraft number two out. Okay. Lieutenant Sex, I could get you court martialed. I'm much more composed than you right now. If one makes a decision with a cool head, he won't find himself regretting that decision later. That's on. true. I wish I knew this. That's a real fact. <gasps> oh shit, he's got the <gasps> weapon. Maybe that's what he wanted the whole time. Oh shit. And that is why he said, don't move it. Shot it right out of the sky. Everyone's dead. The Taurus suits. Mm-hmm. Just like that. He told you not to do it. I hope she got out of her Are you listening, woman? Huh? You saw I was a kid and you underestimated me. You're a weak soldier. I don't kill bleeding hearts or women. What? B. He let her live because she's a woman. Oh, damn it. She wouldn't kill a kid, so he wouldn't kill a woman. So they both kind of evened out. Hey, you. I'm calling you. What's your name, bro? You won't even acknowledge our help. Here I am, Mr. Nice Guy, offering to fix your mobile suit with mine, but you just brush me right off. I don't want anybody touching my mobile suit. That's all, pal. You haven't even got the parts. Hmm. The best engineers in the world couldn't repair machines without the parts. <sighs> Why did I even bother to rescue this guy in the first place? You got such a gloomy personality. Why don't you just give up and stop pretending to be human? Hey, what is it? Could you keep it down over there? Oh, man. Yeah, sure. Forgive me for interrupting. Hero! Dude. I am right over here, so come and kill me! Okay, that's weird. Yeah, he's just like that. He's gone. According to He's kind of crazy he just shows up to school one day. definitely made of Gundanium alloy. Kush for another of the specials. I've heard that Gundanium alloy can only be refined in outer space. So we should conclude that these mobile suits were sent in from the colonies. We should be increasing our presence. We'd be glad to direct our country's wow. space forces to Lagrange Point to support General Septum's troops. I don't think it's wise to interpret the actions of a few as reflecting all the colonies. The real problem we're facing is how to deal with these Gundam attacks. We know what the problem is. General, please give orders to attack. The colonies are hoping for peace in the Earth Sphere Alliance more than anyone else. We also want peace. Hmm. You don't suppose these actions by the colonies are stemming from some jealousy? 
Absolutely not. Until now, hostilities have only been sparked by attempts of the Alliance military to take control. Your true feelings are finally coming out. You're a spy and you've been secretly communicating with the colonies. That's ridiculous. I'd like you to leave the room now, Vice Foreign Minister. Oh, silence. <laughs> We've had enough. They try to set him up, but they kind of got the right about it. Returns at Lagrange Point. <laughs> I believe that's the way things should be. The league worked quite well, I thought. My hat's off to Zex. By the way, Lady Un, about Vice Foreign Minister Dorlin. I'll see to it. Fuck! They leaked that information on purpose. They're gonna get this man killed. Man, what the heck's he thinking? I'm sacking out. The hell? I mean, he should probably ask for help. It's only one man, but I guess, you know, you're the only one touching it, but damn. He's flying, it's working. Selena's dad is in What's trouble. Going on? I don't believe it. The guy's incredible. He fixed his machine in one night. Oh no! Huh? We've been had. He took his parts from this suit. What? How else would he do it? Now that one should have. Whoa! Did he do it? That was the fastest mission ever, but he. I mean, it's done. <laughs> Why do you guys have like, this crazy laugh? Now they're up there playing it all. Oh, they're gonna play together. See, they're cool. They're cool. Look at that. Now they gotta fix everything by ourselves. Oh. I'm just relieved that this guy who can fight as well as Katra isn't an enemy. Just came back. Are you all right in there? Yeah. Just feeling a little beat up inside and out. <laughs> no, I, I'm just so grateful that you're alive. Oh, that's gonna. I know. You're just saying that because if I died, I'd get a two rank promotion. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about with that sense of humor. Listen, you gotta let me fight the enemy with you. I've been through hell with that Gundam as well, but the next time I see them, they won't be getting off so easily. He's gonna have a machine of his own. Oh, sex. I'd be happy. Alongside me. Be happy to. Thank you. Get out of my sight, you weaklings! <laughs> That's it, dude. The power of yelling. Fighting a weak enemy leaves me feeling so empty afterwards. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> what the hell is that about? Hey everyone, well that was the end of episode 4 of Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. I'm a sucker for strong-willed female characters. I think her name was Nine or Ein? Her and Zex had, I guess they pretty much went to the same school, to the same military training, and in growing up or in fighting together, she kind of always wanted to be second place to him. And she did that to make him look better. That's what he said, but we're not exactly sure what the truth is. But long story short, they did work together and I think they admire each other, at least. She has pictures of him on her table stand. So she definitely admires him. And the way that he talks to her is pretty soft too. He's not as rough uh, as he is with everyone else. But he, of course, they joke with each other too. Now, he likes her, she likes him, and you know, they are very like together, but Wu Fei is a little weirder. Uh, not a little weirder, but he did, I mean, he is very tactical, and he didn't notice because he's young, but like, he has an advantage that people won't know that he might be up to the things that he is. So when he was being chased by Nine, uh, literally he got, he got crashed his motorcycle, he was pretty much dead to rights. He had his hands up, the gun literally had to shoot him, but he's like, hmm, I think he heard her voice and he's like, yeah, that's a woman, all right, because she hesitated. She didn't shoot him, she looked at him as a kid. Oh, that's a kid. So he kicked up his backpack and blew it up in front of her face and he was able to make an escape to his gun dome. And of course he let her live because he doesn't kill the bleeding and he doesn't kill women. Now bleeding, I guess he means like people that he tried to kill and they're just bleeding out and just let them die, he doesn't kill a person when they're weakened down. And he doesn't kill women. Uh, he kept bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't kill women now after that uh hero and quattro they haven't said the guy's name yet i think his name is quattro i looked it up on google i think that's his name long no, story short they had a back and forth quattro's trying to understand hero but hero is very antisocial, very like to himself and he's trying to be evil knievel which is exactly it because he's like jumping off shit releasing a pair parachute last minute doing everything he can at, at the at the last minute now he got he, he received a secret mission to destroy a plane full of gundanium so he did that but he did it by taking some of the parts from the other gundam 
which is kind of hilarious. I'm not sure if he's going to come back and return it, but I mean, it's all about completing the mission. Besides that, the other two Gundams are pretty much playing in harmony. Like, they met up with each other, they talk. Now one's playing the violin, the other one's playing the clarinet or the flute. They're also hiding with the rebels, I believe, and they're getting their Gundams repelled. Even though they're made out of Gundanium, some of the rebels know how to fix them because they're similar to other mobile suits. Now, everyone don't really know how to take out Gundams yet. Now, Zex do have an old time Gundam that's probably been used a long time ago. Like, he has a machine that was made out of Gundanium and it was kind of kept as a relic that no one really knew about. It's kind of hidden a little bit. Now, the thing about this is, is that even though it's kind of old, super old, the technology used in it is still more advanced than some of the mobile suits that, they already, that they're using now. And I, I would think they probably use some of it to like advance the current mobile suits. But long story short, I mean, they did mention that, like that, like some parts of that Gundam were, or some technology from that Gundam are just references to that were used for smaller versions of it. But, you know, that thing is still Big Daddy. So now they're gonna fix it in a month not exactly sure there's gonna be a time skip. More than likely it will be. And then Zex will be able to fight against the Gundams with Gundanium. Now we did see in episode three when the other two Gundams were fighting each other, they like grabbed his other they grabbed each other's hand and you can kind of realize that they were they were kind of equally matched. So I'm not just like sure if a Gundam well, I'm pretty sure a Gundam can take out a Gundam. You just have to fight it, like fight it to hell. So I think that's what's going to happen. Long story short, I was really interested in Relina and Hero, but now I'm really interested in Zex and Nine because I love a love story. Especially one that's in the midst of war. And I think that's exactly what we're going to get. And I can't wait to see that. Wow, man, I can't believe I didn't watch Wing. Wing was on in Toonami when I was watching Toonami, but I remember it would come on late at night. And I, I didn't even watch any of the Gundams. All I remember, and I'm not even sure, is from Weed or, or Seed, was this kid in a green tank top. And he was like on a ship. But the thing is, that scene that I remember hasn't shown up yet. So that means I was watching this. I was in the middle of something, like in the middle of a season when I watched it, When I saw that one scene and I skipped it because I was like, I don't understand what the hell that was going on. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to find out now. And the only way for me to find out is to jump into the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and please leave down the comments down below, like anything, because I'm missing hella shit. I always come back like two or three months later. So I don't know the names. I'm scared to look up the names because I don't want to get spoiled. I don't want to hear anyone die before they died. But yeah, I love watching Gundam so far. It's, it's, it's kick ass. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Until I see you in the next one, peace.